Okay, reapings everybody and welcome to Automaton. This is a somewhat small and very chill mod pack that I've heard about on Reddit a few times now. And I, so I went to go check it out and I kind of like it, man. This is really, I've been playing for a little bit and this is very relaxing, you know, compared to, I don't know, self tech or something where everything is a bit more difficult and stuff. This is pretty chill and it's, it's heavily focusing on tech stuff, immersive engineering, as you can see in the background and mechanism. I think I kind of like the big ones here. And then just some other smaller mods in between here and there, which is which is great. So I decided I want to make a playthrough of this. Let's call this uh, Let's Play. Sure, because it's very relaxing. It's something I can play once in a while. So I'm, we may not have like tons of episodes of this, but they might come out like every other day or at least once a week or something. And maybe those videos will be a little bit longer than usual. Uh, just so you know, I can get through some stuff more, but yeah, it's very relaxing. You, you'll see uh, Let's play in I'm gonna do Let's see survival and cheats on in case you need to fix stuff and we're also gonna start with a bonus chest And I have checked out the seat already. It's gonna be in the description as well if you want the same seat and It's a pretty nice. It's a pretty nice seat. It's it's kind of like an island so we're gonna probably just set up on this island here and then I saw there is at least like an ice biome and a desert biome pretty nearby which is great um, I'm also using shaders I don't do that very often but I decided this is you know since it's a kind of like a smaller pack it's really relaxing may as well try out shaders with this and the bonus chest just so we have some stuff to start with but yeah we do have a questing book here the better questing mod couple of categories here and couple of quests and it's very like I said it's very basic stuff so far from what I've seen most of the recipes seem pretty normal relatively so we shall see this this shall be fun and let's also turn on music Minecraft music why not it's very relaxing ah look at this world so I added a couple of client-sided mods mostly I have optifine with dynamic lighting so if I hold a torch it will light it up I can also like throw them down and and it will light up There's some iron right away. We have item zoom, so if I hover over items, you can see them enlarged on the left side. We have the shaders, obviously. A couple of texture packs, nothing big. The new Minecraft vanilla textures, the water I always like, and a custom sky. But everything will be in the description, so if there's anything you want to know, like what is this texture pack, what is this shader, etc., it's always in the description. Always check there. So you should find this all. But yeah, this is pretty chill, like I said kind of kind of nice island there is a meteor over there as well from applied energy 6 2 so we can go check this out we have vein miner in this so chopping down trees and stuff and look at this tree that tree is huge might be nice to settle down nearby i'm gonna leave this tree there because it looks really nice it's even like in this little pond that's so cool oh and i need to turn this on hard forgot about that well, let's just get started here a little bit by chopping down trees. Yeah, see, vein miner, or oh, sorry, or excavator is what it's called, the specific mod. So we can easily chop down some things, which is great. And at the beginning, it's pretty much the same as always, you know, your good old resource gathering, your good old vanilla tool making. But then slowly, once we go mining, we'll, we'll be able to make some more, some more stuff, which is great. We have a bunch of cows, so since we're on an island, I'm going to leave these here for now. I don't want to like slaughter them all and then don't have any animals left. That would be kind of sad. And where's my music? I turned on music. I want it right now, please. It's probably gonna show up soon. Since we already have a pickaxe, let's just use what we have and also put this away. Might as well make a chest. Do we have this recipe? We do. Quark is inside as well. We're gonna just set up here. Uh, I guess I keep the apples. Just some basic stuff. I did set up the one probe already. Yeah, it's in the bottom left corner. I'll leave the quest book here. We can open it with a shortcut as well. So it's not necessary to do this. And we're just going to go right into the cave. Let's see. Yes. See, I can like hold the torch and it lights it up. It doesn't prevent mob spawns when it lights it up like this. But um, it's still... Oops, yeah, I can't do that. It's still pretty nice. Let's just go ahead and vein mine as much stone as we can. So we can upgrade this pick right away. And I'm probably also not going to do too much editing in this, to be honest. Like I said, I want this to be relaxing for myself, as well as for you guys. So, you know, I'm just going to have this as chill as possible. I may as well make a sword. There are enemies in here. They do have the mechanism 
armor, which is a bit, uh, can be a bit powerful, but I'm sure we'll deal with this, right? Sandstone. Yeah, this is a good start. Now, when I played earlier on my own, just to try out the pack a little bit, I had a different seed, and that seed was amazing too. I even started building like a giant house. So originally, I was going to take that seed, but uh, when I was like making a new map just to test out stuff, I got this seed here right away, and I was like, man, this is really cool. I always wanted to build or just live on an island in modern Minecraft. Or Minecraft in general, I suppose. Oh, there's a spawner here. Hello. Don't mind me. I just want to stand here. It's fine by me. So he has a he has like a I guess that's a lapis sword, maybe. You know what? Maybe should, I should just play my own music. I just realized. Man, look at all these goodies though. Efficiency and punch. Whoop, take it all. And a lapis pick as well. Nice. So we can actually set up a nice spawner here, I suppose. XP farm if we need to. Let's grab this coal here as well. I'm gonna keep most of the, um, or a lot of the caving and stuff in as well. It's part of the game and it's fun, to me at least. But yeah, there, there aren't too many like videos about this pack either. It's It has a decent amount of downloads so far. Last time I checked it was uh, like at 6,000 and also I'm just gonna try this out, V-Sync. It's kind of weird in Minecraft. When I don't use V-Sync, I get like, I don't know, like, 150 uh, FPS or something, but as soon as I turn on VSync, it just can't even keep up with 60 sometimes. I don't know why. Like, my monitor is 16 Hz, so it should, should uh, limit it to 60 FPS, but it, it does go lower. It, like, performs not as good, so I usually have it turned off, but I don't like the screen tearing. But yeah, it had like 6,000 downloads roughly, not really many videos. I found one guy who was like streaming it, but he started out in with Mechanism right away in the first episode, like Mechanism Machines and stuff. They were already pre-built, so I was like, eh, it's not quite what I want to watch. And all the other ones I've seen were like in different languages. So yeah, I decided, you know what, <laughs> it seems like a nice pack, maybe I can shine some light onto it for, for people who are also interested and just make a little series out of this. I kind of miss playing with shaders, you know, I don't always do this and this shader is one of those that's like pretty... Uh, it's it's kind of like a... it's not an extreme shader, you know, it doesn't change too much. The problem I have with shaders is always that they change the lighting too much. It gets like super like yellow or super dark or all kinds of things, but uh, this one is pretty nice. I've used this in the past in my Sky Factory 3 playthrough. And yeah, I just like it a lot because it keeps the lighting relatively the same. It doesn't make everything dark. It's not over bright either. Like that's also an issue. It's gonna collapse. I didn't mean to open the inventory. <laughs> Could have been worse, I guess. I wanna have the... I guess there's no water there. I was worried the water would come down. Did I... Yeah, music is... I'm just gonna turn the song uh, off. I'm gonna play my own music, I guess. If Minecraft doesn't want to play it, I'll play my own. Okay, did I bring more wood? I did. Let's make more... Oh, we don't need to make a pick. We have this lapis one. I don't know how good it is. I'm guessing it's gonna break pretty quickly. Uh, just because, you know, it's lapis. It's probably not the best material. Strongest material. Okay, there's a giant cave down there. Place a torch, please. But we're already getting a bunch of goodies here, which is nice. So yeah, we have, you know, immersive engineering, like I said, and a bunch of add-ons for this. We have mechanism in here. There is this furnace mod called Furnace or Faunus? Furnace? I don't know. It's just like, it's a, it's a furnace that lets you upgrade it with certain things. Um, on the on the mod description, or mod pack description, it said that you're supposed to start out, out with Furnace to double your ores. But I didn't see anything in Furnace that would let you double them. I think there's supposed to be a grinder that somehow is disabled in this. Like if you look at Furnace, we only have that Furnace and the Pulvers. Oh, it's a Pulvers. I'm stupid. <laughs> I would explain it. I was like, there is no grinder. I even used the Pulvers before, uh, before to turn wool into string. Oh boy. Good start. Okay, so that should be should be quite a bit of stuff here. At least we can make some iron tools and so on. Base-wise, I'm not sure what I want to build. I think just outside, just some buildings and such here and there. I really like that this is an island. It would be awesome to have like a 
wall around the island or something eventually but this this may not be the you know like a super build heavy uh, series either it's just whatever i feel like you know just very very chill a very chill so what does the book wants us to do actually it wants us to get a stack of cobblestone and a stack of um logs we don't even have a stack of cobblestone yet which is kind of funny so i'm just gonna grab these here i could weigh mine these this again but i don't want to ruin my pickaxe right away should be enough right i want to keep some oh no well I, I guess it doesn't like turn it in we, we still keep that stack it doesn't like take it from us when we before we finish the quest and also a stack of logs so let's just grab this and actually should probably replant some of these trees right away did i drop this axe i did i sure did let's place this up here maybe since we're kind of like starting out in this area close to spawn if we die we're like right at our stuff not sure if we have cow uh sheeps on here though making a bet might be a bit of an issue I do see cows. I don't think I've seen other animals here yet. May have to like travel out into the world. There's also lava here in case we need this for like machines or something. Jeez. Don't fall in that. Or that. <laughs> it's all deadly. So what we probably could do is just take down these stumps if we can. Or whatever they are. Not really, not really stumps. They're more like, I don't know. Something. Dead trees, I guess. Now there's a range to... This, so we kind of have to can I can I reach this yes kind of have to make sure we get all of this and it is getting nighttime come on I know you can do it I actually like this a lot in the new Minecraft version where you can start breaking a block and then kind of have a little bit of time to keep breaking it ah okay of course that's gonna happen fine I'll do it this way don't want to leave these things hanging you know it's not pretty. Ooh, nighttime. I don't know. Hmm. Maybe we should go underground for for now. Until it's a bit more safe. Although finding spiders would be useful too. So we could. Ooh, ouch. So we could make a bed if we get enough string. I'm not sure. I don't think there's any like plants in this that give you string. So our only option really is spiders or you know, finding cheeps. All right, I finished the quest. Let's see, I put this on num block. So we can choose a loot chest in this case. Let's use the middle one. And then we also finished this where we had to get iron and coal. We could get a tool. I think I'm just gonna get the chest though, cause you know, it might be, who knows, it might be something good. Like food is pretty decent right now. And building blocks, okay, not bad. Let's, this is cooked, right? It is, okay. So we have a little bit of light at nighttime here. The dynamic light is built into Optifine too, which is great. But yeah, let's, oh wait, did I see sheep here? Because if we do, probably should go cook up my iron first though. Huh, as a skeleton. Oh, an enderman. Uh, nah. I'll pass for now. Spider, yes, spider. But yet, but that would require quite a lot of spiders. Yeah, I see wolves. So even if you had sheep, they would probably just kill them. Hi. Alright, you know what? Let's go back to our little safety hole here for now. I think we're gonna have to travel and then find some stuff. Maybe I'll just place some couple of torches here. Is this gonna collapse? Of course it is. Oh, <laughs> whoops, I was, I was staring at that skeleton over there. Oh, he might kill me. Okay, which way are you coming from? There we go. Hey, I got a bow. No arrows though. Could have gone worse. There's another skeleton. Okay, yeah, we're gonna chill out down here a little bit, I think. Do we have some blocks on us? Dirt, maybe? Eh. Not really. Let's take this. I hear you. Oh, we have string. We have string. 
How did we get string? Was that in the starter chest? There's like 18 string. Oh, it was in a dungeon, right. Wanna give me that shovel? No, right. Of course not. Okay, awesome. We can make a bed. Nope, not like this. Come on, I hear someone sneaking up. Yeah, you are a little bit more advanced. Ooh, sick. Put that on. Osmium chest plate too. Osmium is really good. Are you coming? Okay, I just wanna make... Just wanna sleep real quick. That's cool with you guys. Are we good? Oh, hey. Yes, we're good. No? Of course not. That was a mistake! <laughs> I didn't mean to fall down there. Welp! That's one way of getting rid of a creeper, I suppose. I just want to sleep, guys. Just gonna do this different. There we go. <laughs> I can't believe I already died. Oh boy. Okay. Can break it luckily, because you know it's not. We're like right at spawn. Are we good? Can I want to get my stuff back? Now I don't know if this guy has a graves mod. He does have one in here. Awesome. Otherwise, I probably would have added one myself. And it's also too many graves, which is my favorite graves mod. Oh, this place, look, uh, place looks ugly now. Okay, that's the Enderman. Well, maybe we should try to kill him now. Although there's still like skeletons and stuff with fancy armor. Not again! Damn it. Can you stop blowing up my stuff, please? Gotta fix that. Alright, yeah, we definitely need a little house, because this is gonna get crazy otherwise. Well, eventually their helmets will break, I suppose. They don't get too close. Did I get arrows by any chance? No. Alright. Alright, let's see. Should we should I focus on a house maybe now that it's daytime? Let's let's do this. I have a plan. Let's make a furnace. Or two. Let's also quest. Which is this one here. We get coal, nice, and then seeds and the furnace stuff, right. I'm not gonna make that furnace thing yet. It's not too necessary, I don't think. So let's just smelt some iron while I'm trying to get some locks and stuff. I know this is not optimal, but it's okay. We have stuff. And I shall take more food just in case and probably make a better axe as well. Okay, got an iron axe. So I am going to chop down some things. We got some seeds here, which is nice. Probably like this tree over there. I don't... Can I need like dirt blocks? I'm just gonna grab some dirt blocks here, I guess. Yeah, these are pretty good for like chopping down just because they're like, you know, they're pretty big and not really something we want to have around here anyway, I suppose. And let's stand on this dirt block this time in case it collapses. Ah, I didn't get that. But yeah, let me know if you guys like check out this pack or if you have already. Kind of curious to see what you guys think of this. I was having quite a bit of fun. So, you know, I haven't, I haven't really messed with too many like tech mods recently been always like playing this kind of like low-tech stuff. Mechanism, for example, I haven't messed with in a while. A mechanism is one of my favorite mods. We still have my mechanism cape, kinda, but you don't see the symbol, I guess. I'm not sure why. You get a cape for donating to mechanism. And, you know, yeah, so it's, it's, it's just like a nice little uh, change for once, you know. I know in Ceftech, in Ceftech there's some tech mods, like immersive engineering and stuff too, but uh, it's a bit more extra, uh, a bit more difficult there to like get stuff done quickly, and you know, like I said, this is pretty relaxing. So may as well do it in here. Okay, now we have a lot of oak, which is great. So I guess we'll build our building out of oak. We also have birch, but that's pretty much it, huh? So the only two tree types we have in here. 
on this little island. It's not that little, I suppose. Not quite that little. Okay, so where do we want to build then? I Like I said, this tree over there looks really fancy. I like it a lot. So I suppose being nearby might be great. Um, could replace the sand here. Now, I want to chop down this guy, but I'm a bit worried that this will... If I vein mine this, it will touch the other tree as well. So I'm just going to do this manually. Yeah, so this is better. And then we have a little hole here with that iron we saw. Yeah, this is a good spot, isn't it? Just having it underneath the tree. Could even put our farm here, maybe. Oh, is it? Oh, no! Why? This is what I was worried about. <laughs> the, the leaves are updating. <laughs> oh, no. There's no way I can rebuild this manually. Ah. Fast leave decay. Why are you being silly like this? Well, it's probably not its fault. I guess vanilla saplings would have done this too. Well, so much for that tree, I guess. Ah, uh, I'm gonna chop it down. <laughs> so sad. It could have been awesome, you know. Oh well. There it goes. Well, there it goes. Pretty much all gone now. <laughs> it's so sad. I think because this is, uh, I think that's a recurrent complex tree. I believe there's a way to somehow get these to grow again. I'm not entirely sure. I'm just gonna try, maybe leave this here. Who knows, maybe something will happen, but oh well. We can still settle down here though. I mean, you know, we could have a little dock here that we arrive at for our base and then just have our base over here and use this pond as well. So I'm gonna see if, uh, where I want to start though. Yeah, so I want to keep this relatively small-ish, so I think, considering if we want to build a dock here, this is where we're going to start. Is it getting nighttime? It is, isn't it? Okay. Uh, so I'm just going to build like a little fence-ish area, or at least lay out the, uh, the area where I want to build. And I'm going to do this with like a 5x5 five five grid. I tried to do this in my Astro Sorcery. Uh, series where I just lay out these things and then space them five blocks apart or there are five blocks in total It's like three blocks apart, I guess and I'll just do this to lay out where I want to build our base All right, I think Kind of figured out how big I want this area to be. I mean, this is just the uh, you know, we can always extend We have this whole island to build on but I just want to have this like little uh fenced off area where we built our main stuff at the beginning, our little hidey house or whatever, survival house. So I think I'm just gonna go keep going this way. I'm gonna have to like farm a lot of these oak still and I think we, since we only have like oak and birch I guess that's what we're gonna use. Just mix those two. Would have been nice to have some acacia or something. I really like that log because it's like grey colored uh, on the side. So let's see, maybe like this. Uh... I don't want to make it too big, but sometimes I also feel like this is not big enough. <laughs> Especially once we deal with... Well, if we deal with immersive engineering and stuff, we'll probably move this somewhere else. This is going to be like our basic survival stuff, right? So, I think that's good. Uh, hi, doggy. I should like tame you guys, shouldn't I? Maybe soon. So, we're just going to keep doing this. And then, this is just, uh, like I said, the outside, but they're again always... Oh, no. There it goes. Yeah, that lines up. Always spaced out three blocks. So it should be relatively easy to build with uh, with this, and we also need to make sure we don't fall into those little holes. Do we have more dirt? Nah, I need to go just grab more dirt or something somewhere. Just do this for now. Hasn't grown yet. Yeah, I think that's a pretty good space. And then I think, you know, we, we raise these a bit higher, and then we build something in between. So let's see, what kind of style do we want to use? Uh, I'm trying to find a good spot. I guess over here might be a good spot to try this out. So we're gonna maybe have the locks here. So it kind of connects a bit. Now we could do like the zigzag I've done in Series Remnants before, where like the locks go like click, 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 and you have like a fort kinda. But I don't think I wanna make I, I don't think I wanna do this in this one. So maybe raise this by one. Now I think let's get workbench and a little bit more planks. Brown state planks. Oh yeah, we got this from a reward. I mean, yeah, we could color these too. There are these like great colored uh, planks. These guys. 
they are really pretty looking, but uh, getting grey dye might be tricky. I don't know. It might be too much work for what I want. And let's see, this makes the fence need a little bit more. We also want a fence gate. And there we go. Make this. And I think we want some slabs and maybe some stairs. I tried this out a little bit earlier. Um, so we could do this, you know, that we maybe have a gate in between everyone. So we can like exit our base at any point if we want to. And then up here, we take some stairs and we do, I think, something like this maybe. Just so it looks a little bit more interesting. And actually, we can probably just cap these off here, couldn't we? Maybe? That's not too bad, is it? I also want something that's not too difficult to build, so I don't spend too much time here. Yeah, that's pretty, that's pretty good, I guess. That's good enough, I think. You know, and then we just build this around the base, uh, wherever we need, or between every of these locks. That should be fine. Now, I could have used a spruce, uh, not spruce, birch maybe for this, but... No, I think this is good. So, well, I guess I go around and build this everywhere. Oh, a little bit of a change here. I'm gonna place the middle one like this. Yeah, that was an accident here. I was placing the locks and then this happened. Although, it may not always work if we do that, right? I suppose... No, I suppose it works. We just have to, like, make sure it kind of, like, is laid out properly in most of these places, like this, and just reduce some of these blocks on the side. Yeah, that works. Alright, just finishing it up here. Almost done. I just need a couple of more fence gates. Three exactly, I believe. Just here, here, and here. And that should be all of it. So there it is. Our little little wall. Now obviously your mobs can still shoot us through there, but I think that's fine. Do we have toll gates in this? No. Because like if we wanted to, we could maybe move these up. You know, maybe that would have made more sense. Because then they can't if there's like a skeleton that couldn't like shoot us at least. Like this. Um Maybe. But I don't want to like change these out all now. <laughs> I may do this later. Okay, that's fine for now. And this and then we're gonna do some terraforming here, too. It would be cool I like that like sometimes these locks are actually like blocking off the water there, which is great And I think it might be cool to have the water maybe connect to this somehow So it kind of like goes over here through a little river and then down this way I guess we could do this right away I mean, we just need a bit of iron to move the water right and then we have like a little bit of separation here It's gonna make building a bit more difficult, but I think it would look nice. So I'm just gonna like Kind of dig out rough paths of the river, how it should like flow, and then we make it like too wide or something, and then it comes down this way, right? And just flows into there, I guess. All right, cool. Let's make this wider. All right, and we'll replace the salt there later with different blocks. I think same with the sand here. It looks kind of silly the way it transitions. I don't know if you want to have the sand here even. We have to remove this. I think there's exchanges in this, right? Yeah, how expensive are these? Like, can we make one? No, it's mechanism. <laughs> so, well, I don't know how difficult mechanism machines are in this. Yeah, they require quite a bit of things. So some recipes have been changed, mechanism stuff and such, but until then it's pretty easy or very like default recipes. So let's just make two buckets and just fix this up here, this little river. Maybe like this. That doesn't look too bad, right? I think... Maybe remove this one here too. And then the water goes down into this little pond here. I think that's kind of neat. And then, yeah, we can clean this up a little bit too later and just make this a bit nicer. Maybe have like a little bit of a fishing shack here or something, you know? And I think I definitely want to replace the sand with dirt. I think it's gonna look better, maybe, perhaps. We shall see. And then we have to build a little bridge across these little areas here too. But yeah, I think that's not too bad. Ah, there we go. We brought all of our stuff back over. Now let's have a quick look at the achievements here again. Yeah, it wants us to make the furnace stuff next. I guess we can check this out. Just do a little bit of, you know, tech stuff in between as well. So let's grab... Just gonna have these apples. So we need some clay, which I don't think I have. We have our iron here. We need... Let's double check this. Furnace is... 
Uh, two iron and two gold, uh, coal. Oh, speaking of coal, there's something else I want to do super quick. Let's grab these torches. And also we want to pull the thing. That's sandstone and same recipe. And two flint. Do we have gravel? We do. Just gotta go, uh, you know, turn this into whatever I need it to be. There we go. Sandstone. Okay, do we have clay though? I think I've seen clay underground, maybe? No, oh, there's some clay down in this mine or oh, cave system we saw. So, boom, grab it all. Nice. Ah, oh, cool, this keeps going, so we may explore this later. Alright, let's make a couple more furnaces. Do I not have more cobble on me? I guess not. There we go. Just so we can smelt some things as well, because we need tea, uh, two for the recipe and then just have two here for stuff. And obviously, we built some houses here and stuff. It's not going to stay out in the open like this, but. I don't, you know, have I don't have time to build something right now, so by next episode or so we'll make this. So we need to get some brick there, which is great. And then let's see. Uh this one we can make oh it's four reds uh four sandstone. Okay, there we go. And that makes the pulverizer. Now I think this is actually the next quest, so it's not gonna give us stuff for this now. But it's pretty much like a furnace as well. You have your fuel down here, and I think this one now duplicates your ores. So if we take... Uh, did I burn up all of my ores? I guess I must have, huh? Well, we have some other ones here. I need to go mining then, but... Uh, let's take this copper, for example, put this in here. And let's see if that works. And then, yeah, we, we can get these upgrades for this thing here as well. We can make it faster, but more fuel consumption, or reduce the fuel consumption, etc. Oh yeah, it doubles it. Right away very cool all right that's good and then i think it's it's four of those as well yeah so we need one more there we go no we need four more come on there we go that's all of them the brick texture looks really nice in the uh newer minecraft texture pack this is the one that's going to be like for 1.13 this texture pack i like the changes they made it looks really nice Okay, there's that thing. We can put this here. Now, now that we just finished this quest, we're gonna get offered some upgrades here. There is this IO upgrade, and this one lets us automate things. So I wonder if we should do that, or if I should do the fuel, cons decrease fuel consumption. Because if we automate this, actually we only need one automation, right? Only into this. Well, I'm not sure. Uh, let's get one of these. I want to see how these works work, and then I guess we have to pick this guy up again for the quest to work. Is this a crafting quest? Oh, it's a crafting quest and didn't detect it, so I have to make a new one. Really? Well, that's unfortunate. That's a little bit unfortunate. Okay, well, I guess we'll do it. So output, we can say right. Nah, I think I think this guy also needs one of those upgrades. For this to be automatic okay that's fair enough but we can do the input which is great so we should be able to just have a chest on top and then we sleep through the night there we go so we should just have a chest on top right and then here let's just take out oops some of the copper and put this in this is gonna get put into it top enabled it is not. Maybe only when it's like done. Let's take this out. Fuel output input. Oh, auto. Ah, there's a difference. There's a difference. Okay, hold on. There may be. Boom. Are you going in there now? Nope. So output still doesn't work, right? Yeah, I don't think so. That's unfortunate, but it's okay. We can. We can deal with that and then we can, you know, smell this up in here. Cool. And then one thing we're going to do as well, or I'm going to do off camera, is just get a ton of sticks here, tons of torches, like a lot of torches. And I think I'm just going to go around and place one on every single log on these, wherever I can. And on the outside too. Or should I be in the center? Nah, I think on the log is fine. Like this. And then we also place these on here. Because then, you know, it's a little bit safer. But yeah. That should be, that should take a while for me as well. But cool, I think we're going to stop the first episode here for today. We have our little fence here. Next time we can focus on making our houses and other buildings, farms, that kind of stuff. 
and also just check out some more of these quests. I think immersive engineering is pretty soon. Like we have to get started with that pretty much next time already. Um, well, we don't have to, but we can. And maybe also do some little bit of exploration to see what kind of things we have around. Finding a village would be awesome, especially since we have recurrent complex. The villagers have quite a lot of goodies in this. Unless it's disabled, but I don't think it is. So that should be fun. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about the series. If you like this, if you like the pace of this, the more, uh, you know, slower pace, a little bit more relaxed maybe. Like I said, episodes might be longer than usual. Uh, not sure how often I'll upload these whenever I feel like playing, you know, that's, that's when I'm gonna like play and record and upload. So no, no fixed schedule. And also let me know if you guys are playing this pack, what you think of this so far, how far you've gotten, that kind of stuff. Would like to know about that as well. So thanks a lot for watching guys. If you did enjoy, don't forget to leave a like. It helps me out super much. And I will see you very soon. Bye bye.